Just what you think, sicko. Just do your job. I'm Mr. Boswell. Give me your job. Yeah. No arguments. Get the I'm job done. Shut up. You should Get be in separate job. rooms with bars on the just windows. Just bring it over. Mr. Boswell. You lot aren't doing your job right. You'd have had me selling to convicted criminals. Get lost. Can I have a word outside? I haven't finished me round. I've got to finish me round. They well, told me. No, I'm not allowed away. to touch that. Outside. Friends of South Park bought it specially. Mr. Boswell, I know you're new here, so there are a few things you should learn. You cannot stand in the middle of the ward and make accusations. Why not? They're guilty. That's not for us to decide. The patients, they're in our care. Look, you're a nurse, and nurses aren't supposed to have opinions. That's your job. But it's not mine. I meet a murderer, and I can't just smile and carry on. I know the rules are my job, and that's not part of it. Never will be. This is just the start. Dealing with the parents is going to get far more difficult, which is why I want everyone alert. I know we're all fond of our cups of tea and little chats, but frankly, the time is better spent on the ward. Uh, Sandra, I can see you're busy. I just thought we might have time for a quick couple when you're done. Cheers. <clears throat> now, where was I? Uh, cups of tea. Can't your dad leave Mitchell alone? She's got him hypnotised, like that woman with snakes in her hair from Clash of Titans. You know, the one that freezes men to stone if they stared at her long enough. It's gone mental, this place. Don't know anyone's names anymore. Guess what? I saw all the food trolleys on the way in. They lined them out in the corridor so they got called on purpose. We could go in at lunch. We get lunch in Airswifty. Nah, they've got the stuff for maternity. Better food because they're eating for two and all that. Steaks. For real? Let's go and have a look. Are you coming, Ali? Shouldn't steal things. It's hospital property. And we're in hospital. It's better than staying there with a misery mop. OK. Those ribs will never get better if you keep up like this. I should ask some other doctor. After the way you treated Phil. <sighs> look, Dan, there are some things I just can't spot. I'm a doctor, not God. I can't know everything. Dr Gallagher, what about you? We're still doing tests. It'll be a couple of days before we find out exactly what's wrong. Then he hasn't woken up? Oh, no, but that's not to say that he won't. If he's brain damage, is that permanent? Oh, Sarah, I wish I could give you an answer. The human brain is the most complicated thing in the world. And the most fragile. All that protects it is a layer of bone. Now, if we designed that ourselves, we'd be taken to court for a breach of safety regulations. And the skull doesn't even need to break for harm to be done. If the brain gets shaken up, then everything gets shaken up. If thoughts, instincts, reflexes, all in a mess. Sometimes we don't even know where to begin mending it. But at the same time, the brain's a remarkably powerful thing. And it can heal itself in ways that hospitals can only guess at. So you mustn't give up hope. I want to speak to his mum. It's our fault. No, it's not. Do you told us to get the car? He's blaming us. You can tell. Look, I'm not blaming anyone. What's happened has happened. Oh, save the lecture. What do you know? Look, the estate I was brought up on isn't that different from Middleton, you know? And I had friends who went out doing what you did. They didn't invent joyriding in the 1990s, you know? So? So I don't think of you as some sort of enemy. Maybe I can help. It's if you're prepared to be helped. a good time, Tom. In fact, it couldn't be worse. Look, I'll phone you tonight. Okie dokie. Uh, don't work too hard. Oh, oh, mind yourself. <laughs> Any time. Uh, come on, Tom. We're going home. Where'd you get these? Uh, the nurse said we could. Which nurse? Uh, tall one, Chinese, but he's gone now. Honestly, Sean, as if Sandra hasn't got enough to cope with, she doesn't need you wandering about the corridors, getting yourself into mischief. Matt, home before you get yourself into any real trouble. Right? Go! Dad! Is he dead? Oh. oh. It's lucky the lift was halfway up. I'm half a mind to sue them. I'm sure you could, if you hadn't removed the danger sign yourself. Oh. <laughs> Should have seen it when they winched you up. Excuse me, Sean. It hurt. <laughs> hurt me laughing. <laughs> I'm glad you think it's so funny. Both of you? You're the problem now, Sean. I'm going to be here for at least two weeks. I'll stay with me, Mum. She takes me around London at night. It's a riot laugh. She's on a course. <laughs> I don't suppose... Sandra? I'll manage. I'll be fine. I 
I can cook. I'll even clean. I'll be all right, Dad. I promise. You could move into the house just for the fortnight. I've only been in the flat a month. I've not had an alarm fitted. See, it's impossible. Give me some cash. I'll stock up the freezer. I'll be fine. But I've got a spare room. Would you mind? Of course I don't mind. Faye? Wait a minute. Are you going to visit Jude? Don't know. I was on my way to Sarah. He's still in a coma. But he might be able to hear us. You could talk to him. You were very close. You didn't like me coming around your house, though. Does that matter now? They say we should surround him with the things he likes. Music and things. His favourite bands. I don't know what they are. He's been my son for 15 years. I don't know a thing about it. Later, if I've got time. Your school phone's Ebbs. Your headmistress said she'd come and visit. Mum thought it were a great idea. But I told her that was the last thing you needed. Although, she could bring you lots of homework. You'd love that, wouldn't you? <laughs> Shut up. You're daft, you are. Come on, Debs, give us a smile. Do the Animaniac's face. I'm tired. She's not him. It's that lot. That's him. That's the boy you was driving. He wanted to kill us. Said it's a pity he didn't. What's his name? Dan. Dan the murderer. He's been like that ever since the accident. The doctor said it was shock, but he doesn't know, Dan. Can't handle a car. Oh, come on, Faye, that ain't fair. No. So how's Jude? I don't know. Haven't you been to see him yet? <laughs> Sorry, his mum. It's the first time she's noticed I exist. They don't want me in there. It's family all my. Well, you should insist. You know him better than anyone. And he needs to hear his friends' voices he knows. Don't listen to his mum. Just push your way in there. It's your boyfriend, for God's sake. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. When pruning roses, you're up on Channel 4. What's your name? Ellie. Get out, Ellie. Dan Miller. Dan Killer. If I pull this hard enough, will it hurt you? Like you hurt my sister? My nine-year-old sister? Oh, oh she's 